What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Chimaya's World. And right now, we're going to be talking about five things that don't will not work anymore in Madden 23 Ultimate Team going forward. I wanted to go ahead and break this down for you guys as we got closer. I told you I have so much more content, and I'm ready to go for Madden 23. Shout out to all of you guys that rode with me throughout Madden 22. I know it was tough. I appreciate you guys. All my members that you know subscribe with memberships, you go ahead and click that join button that join the fam. All my subs on Twitter. Um, you know, you guys can now sub to me on Twitter as well as a super follower. I appreciate all you guys, all the love and support. I will do my part in making sure you guys are the best Madden players to play the game this year. All right, guys. So we're going to jump into it right now. The first thing that I want you guys to understand, the level up glitch, right? So all the things that we were doing before, um, when we would get the ultimate season and a lot of guys were turning to, you know, level 50 in like two minutes and doing all that stuff, that is no longer. That that happens no more. You know what I'm saying, bro? It's completely done. It's banned. It's over. All that good stuff. Um, you know, pretty much you're not going to be able to get away with it because they're doing the field pass, which, you know, that's going to be a bi-weekly thing that's going to be going on. So all of these things that we used to get, uh, you know, through reaching all these different mutt levels, you're going to have to do that with a culmination of the field pass. Yes, the field pass is free, so you do not have to worry about that. Um, it's all over. You don't have to worry about that, bro. Like, listen, I'm going to tell you this right now. It's going to be a lot of a different grind because you're going to have to actively be more involved with logging in and being at your console than ever before. Because this is what happens, bro. When dudes just completely manipulate the system, like we had our ways of repeat, you know, repeating a challenge and stuff like that. But that, to me, you were actually wasting a lot of time doing that, kicking a thousand field goals, doing weird stuff. People took it to the next level and just started outright cheating, bro. Like, yo, look, listen, we ain't even doing that. Like, you gonna go from zero to fifty in three minutes? Like, EA is like, okay, you guys are done. So that's over. That's banned. It's done. Everything is finished with that. We got to move on from that. The next thing that we're going to go to is the power-ups, all right? So the only thing with the power-ups are this, right? Your legend power-ups, they're going to still work. All the other ones, um, you know, and legend pro legend promo and stuff like that, um, and other promos are going to work. Other than that, no more power-ups. So power-ups are done. EA Sports is like, look, you know what? This is taking up too much of our server space, just having all of these things going on. Like, bruh. You know what I'm saying? Like, who wants a Carl Lawson? Like, dude, there's a lot of unnecessary power-ups, so I agree with this. The only problem is a lot of my viewers that are no money spent, it's going to hurt you guys as far as building up your team because now, depending on how the market is set, you're going to have to be able to afford the elite card. And because of that, it gets a little bit more dicey. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's sort of like this. If, I, if you have to save up by playing solo battles, by playing, you know, draft champs, whatever, whatever mode you guys are playing to get your currency, it's going to it's gonna take a lot longer for you to build up when you could otherwise just, you know what I'm saying, click on like a guy like Brandon Cooks, start adding stuff to him, and then before you know it, you have him at a certain speed and stuff like that where you could use him. All of that is over now. So we have to find other ways to go ahead and upgrade and do different things. So I think it's going to be more focused on promos this year than ever before, which is why you're going to have to stay like in tune. That's why my members and my subs on Twitter, any information that I know, you guys get it immediately. You know what I'm saying, bro? You guys can hit me. I can see that you guys are sub and you guys are getting, you know, what it is. I'm going to still give you guys the videos and let you guys know what's going on. But if you guys need additional information, I'm definitely going to hit you guys with that as well. So the power up situation is completely done, bro. You know what I'm saying? Other than the promos and the legends, it's over pretty much like, dude, forget about it, bro. Forget about it. You know, bro, listen, no Sopranos though. Now we're going to jump into the fact that Escape Artist is now an X Factor. So it's totally like, it's just, you can't abuse it, right? So right now I have it equipped because I don't care anymore. I honestly just don't, I don't, I look, listen, I don't give a, yo, I don't, yo, I don't need to tell you guys, you guys that watch my gameplays over at G Miles World Gaming, you guys know, I don't care. So right now it's an ability, it's being scratched, it's going to an X Factor uh, in Madden 23, and not only that, it's extremely nerfed, so what EA Sports did was make it a non-factor. They've made it so that it's like, yo, you're never going to want to equip it as an X Factor because what EA does is when they see something is really, really bad, they let you deal with it for the whole year, and then they take it away the next year. So we went through hell on earth, for the most part, throughout the entirety of Madden 22. They're going to make it an X Factor. It'll be a non-factor, and then we'll figure out something else. You know, like, bro, like, that's what we do. We figure out something else. Because we play the game, we understand it, and a lot of us have been playing the game so long, we know what Madden is. No matter what happens with the engine or whatever they change, Madden is Madden. And dudes that have been playing this game a long time know what I mean by that. 
There's always something in the game that if you find it out early enough, you're going to be pretty much a solid player for the entire year. This year will be no different. Only thing that's different is they've turned it over to an X Factor. So it's done. No longer an ability. You can't use it every play. And they've completely nerfed it. All right. The next part that is really aggravating me and is making me very, very upset is that they're going to be nerfing the sub linebacker package. So what happens is we like to put safeties in at linebacker here at G Miles World because we get more speed. We get everything that we need out of it. And um, I think they just move a lot better agility wise, the way that they, you know, they can turn different things like that. I just like the fact that my player is faster and he's able to do a lot of different things better than the way that the linebackers are programmed to move. Well, EA Sports says your linebackers are now going to be nerfed in the run game, which means that they want us to use actual linebackers. Now, the one thing that's perplexing to me is how these engineers are going to be able to figure out exactly when you have an actual linebacker and a strong safety. Like, what kind of code are they going to put in for that? Because I'm pretty sure you're going to be able to manipulate it somehow, some way. I think they should just leave it alone and focus on the actual gameplay and make us enjoy the game. But that's just me being a humble Madden fan. You know what I'm saying, bro? Like, dude, I just want something that works, that when a guy throws a pick, it doesn't go through my body. Like, different things like that. I think that that would be more of a focus than worried about, you know, we put a safety at linebacker. But I digress, okay? That's what they're focused on. That's the feedback that they got. Um, that's what they're looking to do. So any of these, you know, linebackers that you have that you were used to going out there and doing whatever you want, it's no longer going to be a thing. I'm just letting you guys know that. Like, it's pretty much done. Like, you, your guy's going to, like, stand in place. And just so you guys know, they've already implemented it in Madden 22. If you play the game now before Madden uh, 23 releases this week, you'll see that if you try to shoot the gap, a lot of times your player just stands still and runs in place. So that might be one of the ways that they're going about doing it. All right, to kind of figure out what's happening, um, you know, as far as stopping the safeties being so overpowered in the run game, which doesn't make any sense to me because the old linemen, if they get contact with the safeties, should be able to just block them. So I don't really see the reason for nerfing them. It doesn't make a lot of sense to me. And then finally, the fifth thing, which is kind of weird, zone coverage is going to be heavily increased, which means that they are vowing to us that you won't be able to run crosses every play. So pretty much right now, when you take a look at this guy's zone coverage at 99, I know that's pretty high and it's the end of the year, but when you have a decent zone coverage at the start, which is why we're going to be going after rookie premier Elam, if you guys watched the previous videos, um, his 99 zone, he will be able to run with crossers, which means that crossers are no longer OP. So I don't know if that's going to be the case like how it was in Madden 23's beta, because in the beta, you couldn't get away with doing it. They actually ran with them if you had the right zone. Like, say you had a vertical hook and the dude was in the slot and he was running a crosser, he would run with that crosser in the beta the whole way through. And then, depending on how you had your deep blue set up in the defensive strategy, they would also shadow. You know what I'm saying? They would shadow the player. It, it's not as easy to get wide open on it. So, we'll see if they translated that into the actual game. Other than that, that's all I got for you guys right now. Be sure to subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitch, all at G Miles World. And you guys go ahead and have a blessed day. I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. One love, y'all.